Hello everybody. Thank you very much for listening to this video. I am Mr. M. Iqbal Adil, Conservative General, Colorectal and Laparoscopic Surgeon, working for NHS for the last 30 years. I hope you all are keeping well in this most difficult time. Hysteria of the COVID-19 has not only changed the entire world, but it has in fact changed the entire practice within NHS trusts throughout UK and rest of the health services in the world. Today we'll discuss about the pathophysiology of the COVID-19. Patients are admitted in the hospital requiring further investigations. Most of the patients are having severe respiratory symptoms including flu, pneumonia, persistent cough and fever. They are tested with the blood test, chest x-ray, CT scan of the chest and RT-PCR. The lung fluid is a 90% sensitive for RT-PCR. However, the sputum is a 70% sensitive for RT-PCR and 50 to 60% for nasal and pharyngeal swabs. The fluid is taken into a the lab from the lung fluid, from the lungs, where it is tested for the genetic material instead of the coronavirus by mixing the lung fluid with the, with the enzymes which lyses the cell membrane of the cells releasing a lot of genetic material which is further amplified by PC probe to identify the sequence of the genetic material to be labeled as COVID-19, which is present in 80% of the population across the world without having any illness or symptoms whatsoever. The second pathway for testing RT-PCR is the lung fluid is Similarly, mixed with the antibiotics and the viral cells instead of the host cell without any filtration or purification. The antibiotics cause the lysis of the cell membrane and release of a lot of exosomes which are then amplified by the PC probe to get more and more genetic material and then test it under the electron microscope to find out the, the sequence of the genetic material labeled as COVID-19 positive. Interestingly, anybody is COVID-19 and dies because of some other disease is labeled as death as a result of test positive for COVID-19 instead of coronavirus. There are several papers trying to prove the identification of the SARS-CoV-1 and Corona and COVID-19, which is called SARS-CoV-2. But none of these papers have been able to prove that they were able, they were, they had identified any virus. They have not been able to isolate, not been able to cultivate or purify the virus to fulfill the criteria of Cox, Pastules and River criteria. 
Therefore, the paper published in 2003, I will quote four papers. Number one, Putaman published a paper, Coronavirus, Causative Agent for SARS in 2003, published in New England Journal of Medicine. Number two, Drostel published another paper in 2003 under the heading of Identification of the Coronavirus Responsible for SARS. I was also published in New England Journal of Medicine in 2003. Paper number three was written by Sizek in 2003, published in New England Journal of Medicine. And the fourth paper was written by Paris, published in Lancet in 2003, with the heading of Discovery of the Coronavirus in SARS. But none of these papers have been able to prove any pathogen responsible for the severe respiratory syndrome in 2003. They were not able to isolate, cultivate, purify, filtrate or re-isolate any virus, neither did they fulfill the criteria of the Cox and the rivers. So that's why none of the evidence proves that they had identified the SARS, sorry, Corona virus in 2003. Therefore, there has not been any vaccine available for the unknown organism. Similarly, there have been three papers from China and one from McMaster University, Canada in 2020. The first paper was published in January 2020 and the writer was Peng Zhu. She described as discovery of the coronavirus as a causative agent for pneumonia in Wuhan city of China, published in local health magazine in China in city of Wuhan. The second paper was also written by Zhu that discovery of the coronavirus responsible for pneumonia and city of Wuhan published in New England Journal of Medicine in 2020. The third paper was interesting, published by Tim Kim, one of the virologists, published in one of the Chinese famous magazine called Oslog Public Health Services China claiming the identification of the coronavirus in pandemic of pneumonia in city of Wuhan which has been taken as the reference point for treating the coronavirus actually None of these papers fulfill the criteria of the Cox and Rivers at all. So that's why this cannot be accepted as a reference for the entire world creating such a tremendous and catastrophic destruction of the public, social and economical life and resulting in total lockdown and 
catastrophic long lasting effects. The fourth paper has not been published yet, but this was a statement issued by the media on the website of McMaster University in March 2020 that they were able to isolate the coronavirus, which has gone pandemic in 160 countries. But there is no proof yet, as they have not been able to publish any paper to prove their statement. Again, they were they have not been able to isolate, cultivate, purify, or re-isolate the coronavirus to be responsible for all the pneumonic presentation by the patients. Therefore, on the basis of these papers, it is not justified to lock down the entire world without making any further research and investigations to prove that coronavirus exists and is a causative agent for the ARDS type syndrome involving 200 countries, which is just a overreaction of the entire world without knowing the facts and it should not change the world policies about the public and their well-being. Many thanks. All the best, Mr. Adil. Thank you.